Hello there, this is uh, Ryan coming with another video. Uh, I haven't done one in quite a while, but I, I, keep, I think I keep saying that every single time I make a video these days. It's just been caught up with life. Getting older, getting wiser, I guess you could say. <laughs> uh, I thought I would bring you guys a video on um, Dayton wheels. Uh, don't have very much experience with Dayton wheels and I was trying to find my own videos or a video on how to do it. Luckily I have friends and family that are a little more wise than me in some areas and uh, I was able to get some quality help and uh, yeah now I, uh, I was hoping to pass that information on to you guys. I'm working on my I think it's a 82 or 72. I think it was an 80, this is an 82 Ford uh, L9000 with a Cummins 855 Big Cam 2, 300 horsepower. Um, I've been doing a lot of the work on the engine. I rebuilt the uh, PT pump there and uh, oh, a bunch of other stuff I've done on it too. I actually, uh, I actually work for Cummins as a diesel technician so uh, this stuff is easy for me. The wheels though, haven't done that kind of Dayton wheels before. <laughs> so I thought I would uh, talk to you guys about that a little bit. Um, this is basically going to be a video on someone who's maybe a little scared to touch them. Um, I know there's lots of rumors or not so much rumors but stuff things you have to look out for and people are very a lot of people are scared to touch them because of it and I thought I would kind of talk to everyone here about this a little bit and hopefully uh, it's to some use to somebody at least so uh, the reason why I did these front rims uh, I bought brand new rims and these are not split rims so um, I'll show you guys a split rim the tires are shot, which is why, you know, just the usual grot. Um, so this is a split rim. They look almost identical besides this ring right here. So basically this ring holds this lip onto this rim right here. And this lip also seals the tire and everything. And the problem with these is if you remove this or you don't have it perfectly on there and you start feeling the tire, the tire pushes up on here, from my understanding, and uh, if it's not seated right, it'll blow off. And there's been stories of people hurting themselves quite bad because of that. Also, uh, split rims are usually tube tube tires, I believe. They have a tube inside them, so that's ah, it's, it's not preferred these days. So the only difference of this one is, you can see this is actually a solid piece now. It's not a split. So, but both this and the split rim are both still Dayton wheels. Someone who hasn't really heard too much about them. And then I put some low pros, uh, just some used tires on. Better than nothing. Um, okay, so basically the, the biggest thing I can't stress enough is when you take the lug nuts off, you loosen them, but you keep them on the threads because this little piece here, so it's basically a ramp. There's basically a ramp inside there. And so when this wheel goes on, it kind of rides up the ramp and uh, this little triangle piece here just holds the rim onto this piece here. So when you loosen this off, there's a lot of tension that the rim wants to come off this way. And um, there's been known times where people have ripped this off the wheels under pressure, they give it a hit with a hammer and these little triangles here, uh, they fly right off and hit people and cause a lot of injuries. So you want to loosen all of them off, but you don't want to take them right off, the lugs. Then you feel each one, make sure it's loose. You can wiggle it and it'll be fine. Then you can take all of them off. And then you literally just kick the rim or whatever and pull it off, it's that easy. And uh, it's the same with the reversal. The only difference is uh, you have to true the rim, which is why I left my hammer here. Um, basically you put it up against it, 
and you spin the tire. Uh, it's a little dark in here, so I can't show you, but it's uh, about an eighth of an inch through. So the, the tire, since it's up on a ramp, you have to be the one that decides how much it's wobbling on the rim or the rim sitting on the hub because, um, yeah, like I said, it, it just runs up a ramp. There's no predefined slots or anything for it to go in. So you have to torque down the wheels accordingly. Um, just um, torque them down in a star pattern and um, you use the same amount of force and turns basically. So if you're using your uh, impact, just go, you know, dugga 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 dugga, like the same amount on each one, just so it kind of goes on as straight as you can. Um, and then you rotate the tire once they're fairly tight. And uh, let's say the tire is right here. Let's say the bottom is push is coming out and the top is in. So it's like a wobble, right? If the bottom is out, you want to rotate that or just leave it there and tighten the, the bottom lugs so it sucks the rim in. And uh, if you've gone too tight, you may have to loosen the whole thing off or you can go ahead and loosen the top ones, the, the, the opposite ones, and uh, tighten the bottom ones and try to get that rim straighter. It can be tedious and if you've never really done them like me, it took a while to get it good, but well worth the, the time and the effort to do it. Uh, then you just lower it down and torque them all up and check your trueness again and you're off sailing. So uh, I think that'll be it for this video. If you guys want to see more of this, let me know. Um, I can take you through more of the in-depth parts of what I did, how I rebuilt the pump, you know, I resealed the oil cooler and uh, I had a little bit of coolant in there, pressure tested the cooler and resealed it. Um, painted everything up real nice, this whole place side was black. Painted the turbo, added a new flange to the back of the exhaust, it was busted. Uh, I'm in the process of painting some stuff up. I'm waiting for a new fan hub or clutch. It is shot and they are very hard to find up for these old trucks. So it's a little bit of a fun game, but uh, I'm getting there. Um, and then I've got to run a coolant flush, get the rest of that oil out and then uh, throw some new coolant in. Yeah, so lots of work. Uh, if you guys are interested in the project, this is definitely a project. This is no, by means, no means going to be a daily runner or anything like that this is just for fun um uh, this is what i love to do so as you can see on this side too i also got that new dayton wheel the rim on there looking good I, i'm gonna take them off one day and redo the, the rims paint them up nice and uh the, the pads are like new drums are like new so yeah there she is you might see more of her there's lots of and our uh, Ford L9000 videos, but not not really quality, I guess you could say. I mean, they're not bad, but they're not going in depth or anything. So figured maybe I would do that for you guys. But yeah, so that'll be it for this video.